Hey guys, Anthony 4 before Diesel. Just had a question from someone regarding um, removing the plug from the common rail. Now, there's a few cautions and warnings with this one. Um, there has been people break this plug and break the tab and break things and whatnot. So, just want to, um, I've undone a lot of these plugs. So I'm gonna tell you what works best, okay? Now, number one rule is gonna be just whatever you do, be very careful. It's a plastic plug. Now, if you're not sure what plug we're talking about, so it's the um, it's the pressure sensor on the front of the common rail. So let's talk about that so we know exactly. So this is a 120 Proto, right? Pretty well the same on a you know 150 or a Hilux or whatever. All right. That's the plug there, the one in the center of the picture, right? That black plug. The common rail goes behind it, obviously, so the fuel lines go onto it. So there's the plug. Now the first, if you need to unplug that, the first thing you're gonna do, you need some access. This vehicle is not pulled apart. We're not working on it. I'm just trying to do a video to help someone out and obviously help all of you, obviously, if you check out this information. To get access in there, Remove the power, so, look I make the mistake of calling this a power steering reservoir in video sometimes. That's what it is, it's sometimes I call it a power steering pump, obviously it's not a pump, the pump's further down, it's bolted on the engine and mechanically driven, it's just a reservoir. But to remove that there's three 12 mil bolts, one in the centre of the picture right now, and there's two down on the front, down there, which you know you can barely see, it's not, you can figure it out, but you can see them in the picture, top and bottom of the picture. Alright, so here's a 3 out drive and a 12 mil deep socket with your shortest extensions usually a good length for those ones on the front so if you get that out of the way that'll open it up for access a lot more in the first place um, the reason the only reason you need to undo that common rail plug generally is if you're you want to get the nuts and bolts off the EGR cooler probably because that's where you want to put a plate in or something like that so that's the most likely reasons now so the first thing you need to do, you need to get that out of the way. We're just going to show you without getting it out of the way just for this one though, all right? So, just to give you an idea. So, let's get down there again. There it is. Let's have a look around, all right? There's the plug, centre of the picture. First thing you need to do is identify where the little release tab is, right? Now, I'm not going to be, I'll try and show you, but I'm probably not going to be able to. I'll try. So what I'm going to do is reach in there and get my finger and feel the plug and go, okay, where's that release tab? And it's not on this thick section here. Look at that. That's working quite well, actually, isn't it? It's not on this thick section here. It's back, right? So it's behind it. So edge of the plug there, thick section of the plug for about, what's that, 12, 14 mil, right? It's behind that, right? So in this case, it's at the top. I can feel that up there. I'm not going to press it because then it may be released, right? So this is a 120 Prado. Quite often they're all in the same position. So you need to press that. So if you've got this reservoir out of the way, you'll be able to get your hand around. I'm going to get in the way now. Underneath, press the button and just wiggle and pull the plug. Now what happens with these plugs is they can be tight. It's not usually the release clip that's tight. It's normally the plug, just mud, dust, dirt and whatever. It gets under the plugs. Same on all the plugs. There's, there's a couple of dozen plugs on each side of the engine. And just from over the years, all the mud, dust and dirt and all that sort of thing, it gets underneath the plug, between the plug and the, the switch or the sensor, depending what plug we're talking about, and it's just really tight, okay? So you need to make sure you've got that clip released without pushing it too hard, because you could possibly break them. I've never broke one or had an issue, but I'm just warning you because there are people that have had issues. Um, and we've got someone at the moment, last I spoke to him, he was having trouble getting it undone. So this is for him. Um, and if he's got it undone, even better. Well, this is there for everyone to watch in advance. Um, obviously, more information when you buy the injector kit in the VIP group, but we try and put quite a lot of free information in the YouTube channel to help out everybody. Now, um, so the best way is if you can press that tab and have a hold of the plug and just give it a wiggle, gentle pressure pulling it backwards. There's no point pulling too hard because if you haven't pressed the clip, it's not gonna come. And it's not about pressure, it's about a little bit of pressure and wiggling. And then what you'll eventually see happen, and this isn't a good example because it's pretty clean, but you'll eventually start to see a clean line here just behind the plug. You'll see a millimetre or two of sort of dirt, a dirt line, because it's clean on the outside because you washed it down preparing for your injector job or whatever work you're going to do. Well, some people do, some people don't. Like after a trip, some people wash the car, some people don't. Look, we like to keep it clean. 
Um, obviously what gets stained gets stained and that's what you're seeing here. The alloy has been stained by some red outback dirt because that's what you get when you use the vehicle for what it was designed for. Um, if pulling the plug with a clip released isn't working, there is something else that I've done and you need to be very careful, okay? So I'm gonna tell you, don't do this. Don't get the big nasty screwdriver out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the screwdriver, so it'll come up here. The big nasty screwdriver. Don't just get in there with that and leave the hell out of it, because that won't be good. You'll probably just bust something, right? So you need to be very careful. So I'm suggesting possibly this screwdriver works. It works for me. But what I do, with that power steering reservoir out of the way, I'm able to get in with my left hand Press that little tag down there, right? And then with this screwdriver, I can get in down here. And I'm talking, you can't go in too far, otherwise you'll be levering the sensor, right? It needs to be just on the edge of the plug. And you've got the steel here of this pipe bracket on the fuel line above it. If you haven't taken the manifold off, whatever, it's still there. And you just gently lever, just, and I'm not talking pressure, right? I'm not talking put a heap of pressure on it. It just allows you to concentrate on using one hand to release the tab and the other hand to push the plug back. Now you can't just put pressure because you'll bust it. It'll cock up, you know, you're only doing one side. It's got to be done evenly. So, but when you've got ones that are really tight, sometimes you just can't get them started. So you just need that bit, it's a levering effect. So little. So what I do on and off the screwdriver, just gently, gentle, 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 on and off, you know, probably five times or so. And then I'll start to see that dirty line underneath of the part, you know, you couldn't clean it obviously because the dirt's underneath the plug. And once I see a millimetre or two of dirt, then I release the clip, put the screwdriver away, and then come down with the right hand and just grab the plug and then continue to wiggle and pull, which I can't show you obviously, there's not enough room to show you, but you know what I mean. But And then obviously it'll slip off and you'll go, wow, awesome. And then just tuck it down, obviously, tuck it down below so it's out of the way and do what you got to do so look that's how I get the plugs off um, it's a nice day when they just come off easy and I suppose the more you've done I, I don't I really don't have any issues getting them off but we have had a few tight ones so just letting you know that's what works for us but whatever you do be careful like usual if you haven't already hit subscribe turn notifications on so you don't miss the next important information and um, share it with your friends. If you've got other people you know working on these engines, whatever, show them the video because possibly it might help. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate your support. See ya.